I'm News 18 meteorologist Cam Hotman with another edition of your weather vlog. It's going to be an interesting situation today with the high pressure that kept things clear yesterday now moving off to the east. We're seeing low pressure move into the Great Plains from southern Texas. That's going to move northward throughout the day today. And as it does that, the combination of that low and that high pressure will create a channel of warm air that moves into our area. In fact, this morning we dropped down to about 26 degrees here at the station. Temperatures from then on will be on the rise all the way through tomorrow afternoon. In fact, these after this afternoon's temperatures will be cooler than the temperatures we're going to be looking at overnight tonight. That's how interesting the situation is. And temperatures will be on the rise as a combination with that low and the high. On top of that, we also have rain headed our way with that low pressure moving northward as well. Warm front, that's what's going to help keep temperatures warm overnight tonight into tomorrow morning along with the precipitation and the cloud cover. We've already seen the cloudy skies throughout the day today. Rain is pretty much on our doorstep. We're going to begin to see rain move in over the next few hours here, likely by noon. Our southern parts of the viewing area could be catching some light showers, and it looks like we could expect anywhere between a half an inch to as much as an inch and a quarter of rainfall before tomorrow afternoon. The low pressure system, as it moves further to the north, will drag uh, the frontal system along with it. The majority of the rainfall will begin to fall overnight tonight into tomorrow morning, and then once that kicks off to the east, We'll finally see some light cloud cover throughout the day uh, tomorrow morning, maybe into the early afternoon, and then we clear out once again for the afternoon hours. We'll be back to partly cloudy to mostly clear skies once the low moves off to the east. So temperatures by 5 p.m. today, warm up to around 46 degrees. Overnight tonight into tomorrow morning, we get up to 53. That'll be right around daybreak. We'll hit 53 degrees, hitting 59 tomorrow with the rain continuing throughout the morning hours, exiting later on in the day. 48 your overnight low temperature Friday night into Saturday morning when we get back up into the mid to upper 50s once again 58 degrees your high temperature on Saturday now both Friday and Saturday afternoons some parts of the viewing area could easily easily hit 60 degrees if not 61 degrees both of those days as we get into Saturday evening we have our second round of precipitation headed our way we're looking at mainly just a cold front moving in from the Great Plains off uh, off to our west as that moves in First, we're going to be dealing with rain showers, maybe even a few claps of thunder as temperatures will be so warm. But once that front passes to the east, temperatures will begin to plummet. In fact, we're going to be seeing rain showers throughout uh, the evening into the early morning hours on Sunday. And then those rain showers will slowly begin to turn into some snow showers. Accumulations for Sunday aren't expected to be very much since we're going to have all the rainfall uh, Saturday night. And that's going to keep that ground relatively uh, thawed out for the time being. But as those temperatures plummet, we'll see a very slight chance of some wintry mix and then mainly a snow event by Sunday morning, moving out late Sunday morning, maybe even the early afternoon hours. Temperatures will only be warming up to 34 degrees on Sunday afternoon, quite the departure of the 58 we're expecting on Saturday afternoon. Now after that, temperatures will be staying cool. Originally, we thought about a third low pressure system headed our way. The latest models have that off to our southeast a little more. So we will be staying dry and clear for both Monday and Tuesday. 28 degrees your high temperature for Monday. Tuesday, we're all the way up to around 31 degrees. So still cool and in fact below average for this time of the year. And that's pretty interesting considering the temperatures we're going to be seeing over the next few days. We're back up to 33 degrees for next Wednesday with some mostly cloudy skies. So pretty much just a roller coaster of temperatures over the next few days, folks. And a very interesting situation as you wake up tomorrow morning, temperatures will in fact be warmer than uh, the, when you went to sleep uh, late tonight into uh, tomorrow morning. So we're going to be seeing a very cool situation with these temperatures on the rise over the next couple days. But altogether, a mild uh, middle part in, to early mid-January here uh, headed our way. So uh, that's pretty much all I had for today. If you have anything uh, you'd like to uh, send us or have any questions about the forecast, feel free to email us at uh, weatherteam18 at WLFI.com. My personal email is Cameron.Hotman at WLFI.com. And always remember, you can follow us on Twitter at WeatherTeam18. Until tomorrow, folks, I'm News 18 meteorologist Cam Hotman signing off.